Disruption in release of noradrenergic or NA and serotonergic or 5-HT neurotransmitters. The pharmacological objective of most antidepressants is to increase monoamine, noradrenergic, serotonergic and dopaminergic release and or reduce the uptake in the synaptic cleft. Treatment options include selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs such as fluoxetine, peroxetine and sertraline and serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors or SNRIs including venlafaxine, desvenlafaxine and duloxetine. Mirtazapine, a noradrenergic and specific serotonergic antidepressant or NAWSA and other treatment options. Increase in noradrenaline is associated with increased arousal. Increased 5-HT1 stimulation is associated with alleviation of depression. Stimulation of serotonin type 2 receptors can be associated with sexual dysfunction, sleep disturbance and anxiety. Stimulation of 5-HT3 receptors is associated with gastrointestinal upset. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, increase the concentration of serotonin by blocking serotonin reuptake. They demonstrate 5-HT1A, 5-HT2 and 5-HT3 agonism and do not directly affect the NA system. Serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs, block the reuptake of both NA and serotonin and also increase the amount of NA and serotonin available to their postsynaptic receptors. Mirtazapine mode of action. This is an antagonist of central alpha-2 auto and hetero receptors, which causes an increase in both NA and serotonin release. Mirtazapine's effect on release serotonin is exerted solely via 5-HT1 receptors. Mirtazapine specifically blocks 5-HT2 and 5-HT3 serotonergic receptors. Alpha-2, 5-HT2 and 5-HT3 antagonistic effects all contribute to the antidepressant profile of mirtazapine. Mirtazapine is accordingly a noradrenergic and specific serotonergic antidepressant, or NAWSA. Avanza Soltab Effects Stimulation of Receptor Subtypes